everyone, Dr. Ariane here from the Movement Paradigm. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about forward head posture. It's something that we're all very familiar with. We might know a loved one that has developed a kyphotic or forward head posture over the years. Sometimes we get frustrated with them for not standing up tall. Um, there's a lot of reasons that that could happen. Now, one is a dysfunction in the trapezius muscle uh, relative to the sternocleidomastoid, which is right through here. So a lot of times we don't have enough tone in the trapezius muscle, and then we have too much tone or chronic tension in the FCM. A lot of, a lot of times that can result from poor breathing mechanics over time. So we breathe 20 to 25,000 times a day. So there, if there is a dysfunctional breathing pattern that can lead to a lot of chronic tension in that specific muscle. So over time, this imbalance can lead to forward head posture. Um, with that said, there is also just other reasons that that could happen. It is poor posture in general. It can be the state of the nervous system. And I always say that posture is your story. So it's how you present yourself to the world. So when you walk into a room, do you walk in with confidence and you're up tall? Or do you walk in just kind of with your shoulders rounded in a more depressive type posture? So it is a result of your, your thoughts, your emotions, your actions, your, da your daily activities over time. So there's a lot of factors that go into it, but the great thing is, is that there are ways that you can change it. And that's what I'm gonna talk about today. But before that, when we do have forward head posture, it can affect a whole host of things. So it can reduce our breathing capacity. It can affect our vertebral artery, which supplies blood to the head and brain, and specifically areas around the cranial nerves, and specific cranial nerves that affect social engagement. So with that said, it can affect our entire autonomic nervous system, and it can put us in a chronic state of stress. So that's a really important factor. There's a lot of correlations with also with people that have asthma and COPD. There's almost gonna be a direct correlation with some type of forward head posture. And there was a Nobel Prize recipient, uh, Dr. Roger Sperry, who spoke about, he's a brain researcher, and he said that 90% of the stimulation of the brain is through movement of the spine. So just think about that, that if, if our spine is really impacted from a mobility standpoint, then unfortunately that can have a huge impact on our brain function. And especially as we age, we know how important it is to maintain cognitive function. So I'm gonna give you three exercises that are very, very powerful and very simple techniques that can really work on reprogramming your uh, cranial nerves and specifically affect forward head posture. So they take about 30 seconds to a minute uh, for each of them. And you do want to be very specific about how you do them and this, the a very, uh, like I said, specific instructions that I give. So the first one is called the basic exercise. So what you're going to do is lie on your back and you're going to interlace your fingers like this and you're going to place them behind your head like this. Okay, so right at the back of the skull. You're going to keep your head forward and you're going to look with your eyes only to the right, and you're gonna hold that position until you sigh, swallow, or yawn. After you've done one of those things, you're going to look directly to the left with your eyes only, keeping your head forward, okay? Until you sigh, swallow, or yawn. You will do that within 30 to 60 seconds on average, but I do see people that have been a little bit longer, anywhere from a minute and a half plus. The most important thing is just to relax in the position. You don't need to think about anything. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to meditate. You're just gonna be in the position. You're looking gently. You could get a sense of dizziness when you get up to a seated position. So just give yourself 30 seconds or so, and typically that will resolve. It's just a change in blood pressure. After you've done that, take note of how you feel. Typically, people will respond as they feel more relaxed, they feel more calm, they feel present, they feel mellow, they feel good. So those are the, the descriptions that you should feel. It's a very powerful technique and very, very simple. Okay, the second technique is going to be called the salamander. So what you're going to do is you're gonna get onto all fours like this. And the first 
first thing you're going to do is try to find your new, we'll call it your, for now, your neutral head position. So I want you to go all the way down with your head and go all the way up with your head. And then try to find the position in between the two of those. Okay, and sometimes that's hard enough, but don't get too concerned with it. Just try to find your, your best position. You're going to look with your eyes to the right. You're going to side bend your head to the right. And then you're going to side bend your upper body to the right. Okay, you're going to hold that there for 30 to 60 seconds. And then you would come back to your start position. Look with your eyes only to the left. Side bend your head to the left, so ear to shoulder. Side bend your upper body. Hold that for 30 to 60 seconds, okay? And then the last one is called the twist and turn. So you're going to grasp your elbows like this, okay? You're just gonna be in a standing position. You're going to just rotate back and forth. So you're just twisting back and forth, letting your arms go across your body, okay? Then you're gonna bring them up to heart line, okay? You're gonna do the same thing. So you're just going back and forth. So about five times or so. Then you're gonna bring them up to wherever you feel comfortable. Okay, so really above, ideally above the shoulders, about five times. Okay, then you're gonna bring them down. And what I would strongly recommend is that someone, if someone's with you the first time you go through them, to take a picture of you from the side and just snap a little picture of, your, of the forward head posture. Okay, do these exercises, stand up, take another picture. And when you do that, you will be shocked about how amazingly different it is. So they're, again, three simple, basic exercises that take just about no time at all. So there's no reason not to do them. And it can be a really powerful change on your overall health because it's affecting blood supply to your brain, your breathing capacity, the, the tone of the musculature. So there's so many things, so many powerful things, and, and most importantly, it's changing the state of your nervous system to a more ideal nervous system state of social engagement. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, as always, please reach out and have a great day.